Hello again! You're gonna get one more bonus video today because with all my talking in the first video, I forgot to tell you about today's journal. So today's journal is Rock and Roll. Yay! Rock and Roll started in the early 1950s and we're talking early rock and roll here. So if you remember way back when we talked about the blues and um, remember how the blues were really slow and how um, I showed you how we went from that blues form to um, speeding it up and it became rhythm and blues. So we sped it up, add a little bit more rhythm, it became rhythm and blues, and then a disc jockey in Cleveland came along and started calling it rock and roll. And that stuck. So that's how we got rock and roll music. Um, and that's evolved into what we have today. And it's also why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in Cleveland, Ohio. So um, rock and roll has, um, like I said, it's the rhythmic version of the blues. And it has electric guitars, bass guitars, drum sets, a strong backbeat, which is kind of like um, that uh, sound that you clap along with in a rock song. And it was the first style that came along that was really for teenagers. Before rock and roll, you listen, everybody listened to pretty much the same music, no matter what your age was. I mean, so this was the first style that came along that teenagers really gravitated towards. And parents were like, oh my gosh, my children shouldn't be listening to that. Um, very much like today, probably. Um, although all of our parents today have grown up listening to rock and roll too. So it wasn't quite such a jolt to them. But um, yeah, so people that were well known for early rock and roll, Elvis, of course, we listened to him earlier in the week, Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Little Richard. And you're going to listen to, um, if you go to the next slide, you're going to listen to um, Bill Haley and the Comets sing Rock Around the Clock. So enjoy. Bye. 